Thanksgiving today, so happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Uh, but um, something I'm really grateful for is the death touch mechanic. I love it a lot. I have a lot of fun playing with it. And so I finally built my 1-1 death touch deck around that mechanic in 1-1 death touchers. It's actually standard playable. It's not very good. Like I said, I only went 1-3 at FNM, which it needs some work. It needs a lot more pump spells. Um, and be more kind of like a uh, infect deck, but not exactly infect deck. So I've got I've got to make some changes to it. But this is what I ran on Friday night. Um, I start off with eight swamps because I need swamps for all my a lot of my one one death touchers are black. Most of them are black except for the sedge scorpion, and then all the spells are green. So yes. 8 swamps, I also have 11 forests, so that's 19, and 1 tomb, uh, Urgborg tomb of Yamath, which get, makes everything swamp, so then you don't have to worry about it, if you can get it out, I only have 1 because if you draw it and you already have 1 out, that really sucks, and I only have 1 copy, so I didn't want to have to go buy anymore, so 20 lands in this deck, because everything is pretty inexpensive, except for the couple of higher end stuff, which are going to be taken out, because they're just too expensive, and I never get to that point. So that is the lands. For creatures, we have four copies of Rufus Ripper. I love this card. It's one black mana. Um, you can also put it down for three as a morph creature and then show a black card in your hand and you can flip it over and it does two damage to um, target player. So target player loses two life. It's a one one and it has death touch because death touch. Like I said, all these creatures have death touch. They don't have death touch, then I'm, I'm I did something wrong. So four copies of that. I also include four copies of typhoid rats, one one death touch, rat horde that are infected and kill things when they touch people. Yay! I also include four copies of Farika's Tozen, one one death touch, one black mana. Yay! It's a snake. And another one one death touch, said scorpion, one green mana this time, uh, one one death touch. Yeah, if you if you are you, if you missed out on the title of this thing, we're doing death touch. So all these creatures have death touch. Yeah, except for one. One of them does not have. Well, technically three, but anyway, we'll get there. Um, I also include four copies of Air of the Wilds, two mana, one colorless, and green for a two-two death touch. That's not a one-one death touch. It's just two-two. It also has ferocious, which you're hardly ever gonna trigger um, because. There's not many creatures with power 4 or greater, but if you do happen to get it out, you get to swing for 3-3 three, three instead of a 2-2, two, two, which is nice. I like Air of the Wilds a lot. I run it in my team or tech because it's like my favorite card ever right now. 2-2 two, two, Death Touch. Alright, I also include two copies of Farika, God of Affliction. 3 mana, 1 colorless, 1 black, and a green for a 5-5 five, five indestructible enchantment creature. That's not why I run her. I run her because if you pay 2 mana, a black, and a green, and exile creature from a graveyard, so you could do your opponent's graveyard or your graveyard, um, you get a 1-1 one, one death touch enchantment snake. Yay for death touch 1-1s! One, yeah, it's a lot of fun, and... This can actually take care of Blood Soap Champion, and I didn't realize that till today, but I didn't have it on, on the board, so it was okay. But it's nice, it's indestructible. You're hardly ever gonna get up to the devotion because each of those have like what? One devotion in them, and you have to have like a whole bunch of one, two, you'd have to have five creatures out on the board at once, and it's kinda hard to keep them because they die easy. But two copies of that because she makes snakes that have death touch, and they're one ones. I also include one copy of Nylea, God of the Hunt. Four mana, three colorless, and a green for a 6-6 six, six indestructible creature, God, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't care about that. You can bump things for four mana, give it plus two, plus two until the turn. Um, what I want her for is all other creatures you control getting Trample. Now, Trample and Death Touch is a very, very interestingly awesome mechanic. Because the way trample works is you have to deal the necessary damage to kill creature and then the rest tramples over. With death touch, one damage is enough to kill said creature and then the rest tramples over if it also has trample. So basically what happens is you hit your opponent's creature for one damage and then the rest of your damage tramples over. So if you have spells that make things bigger, you're going to get a lot of trampling damage because it only takes the one damage to kill which is awesome. 
I really like that. That's why she's in there for travel. Nothing else, because most of the other stuff I don't have doesn't get travel. But oh well. I also include two copies of Hornet Queen because she's an awesome flying Death Touch Tutu and she brings four of her minions with her that are all 1 1 flying Death Touchers. Um, the only problem is she's 7 mana, 4 colorless and 3 green, and it's really hard to get to that point. Thinking of putting in Hornet's Nest instead because, yeah, it was impossible to get to 7 mana on all my games unless I flooded out and then I didn't even have a card in my camp. It was sad. So those are all the creatures. It needs some work because yeah I think I'm gonna have to take out the Furikas and put those in the sideboard, put the Nightly in the sideboard, and put the Hornet's Queen in the sideboard slash get rid of them and replace them with Hornet's Nest because they are way too expensive. Way too expensive. Alright, spells. We do have spells, though, to pump things up and make it bigger. We have three copies of Satessin Tactics, two mana, one colorless, and a green, and you can also strive it for one green extra per target. And until end of turn, any creature you, any number of your target creatures gain tap, um, get plus one, plus one until end of turn. And they also have you, they can be tapped and fight another creature. That's really awesome because whatever you fight is going to die because all your creatures have death touch. Yay! Game for death touch. It's awesome. Like I said, this deck needs work though. Because what they need to get is first strike and death touch. And then they'll all have first strike and not die. Because yeah. Death touch is an awesome mechanic. I'm really in love with it. I also include three copies of Awake and the Bear. It's three mana, two colorless, and a green for an instant where a target creature gets plus three, plus three, and gains trample until end of turn. So that's nice. I've got to use this to trample over for three damage quite a few times because you only need the one, and all my creatures are at least one. So it was a lot of fun to play. Plus it has a bear on the art, and he's like, Rawr! And a death touchy bear is kind of cool. Alright, I also include three copies of this week's card of the week, Colossal Heroics. Three mana, two colorless, and a green. You can also pay two extra, one colorless, and a green to strive, and target as many creatures as you can with as much mana as you have. And any number of target creatures gets plus two, plus two, and you get to untap them. So, you can attack with everything, save this, surprise your opponent who thinks, oh, you just tapped out all your death touch creatures. Oh, no, I didn't because I have Colossal Heroics. I'm going to give them, make them all bigger and untap them because I'm a jerk. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to do. A lot of fun. I also include four copies of Roar of Challenge. Um, it's two, three mana, two colorless, and a green for sorcery. All creatures able to block target creature this turn do so. And then it also has a ferocious mechanic, so if you have a creature four power greater, um, your creature also gains indestructible until end of turn. So what this is supposed to be is that you have, you know, you throw your, you have a couple death touchers, you throw down this on one of your death touchers, target it with one of your death touchers, and then your opponent has to throw all their creatures in front of it when you swing. You make your death touch creature bigger and you kill all their things because you only have to deal one damage to each of their creatures. So as long as you can get to a point where you can pump it up and... Burn a whole bunch of cards to give it enough plus plus one stuff, you can do a whole buttload of damage and kill all their creatures from one creature, which is an awesome feeling and is a great way to get rid of things. Fortunately, I was never able to have a be in an instance where I could cast it reliably. So I was kind of sad about that, but that's what they're supposed to be there for, something like it today. Alright, the last two cards in the deck are Becomerments, because Becomerments is awesome. It's pretty expensive, 6 mana, 5 colorless, and a green, but you can also delve and pay for your colorless mana with cards from your graveyard, which if you've just been wrathed or something like unto that, you'll have cards in your graveyard as long as you're not using Farika, and it it's, it's possible that you won't have cards in your graveyard. That's why there's only two of these. But... Um, target creature gets plus six, plus six until end of turn, which is awesome because in combination with that touch, you only have to poke them for one, and then if you have trample on top of that, you just hit them for six. It's beautiful. Yay! Or you kill them on turn. Anyway. So, that's my death touch deck. Um, like I said, one and three, not great. It's very much lacking. It needs help. 
but um, I'm going to take out some of the more expensive stuff, throw more pump spells in there because that's what it needs. It needs to be more like a Tom Ross Infect deck or Tom Ross Mono Red Aggro deck. Um, just to help your opponent doesn't block because it has death touch and then pump the crap out of your creature so it kills your opponent. That's what the goal is. So let me know. Give me suggestions in the comments below because I need them. Um, like this video and subscribe for more.